in order to run reports in standard score, you need to go to the report tab and click on reports. Now there's several options for you to choose from. A couple of things to keep in mind when running reports. If you're going to print things out, you're going to want to check exclude page breaks. If you're printing something out to be posted in your classroom or to be passed around, you're going to want to sort by random student ID. If you want to save a report to use it again later, you can check save report at the bottom, name the report, and then click Save and Run Report. A detail report is going to give you absolutely everything from a class if you have a class selected. You can select a student instead, which is probably what you're going to do if you're going to run a detailed report. You're just going to run it for one particular student so they can see all the information. Summary report gives the overall points for a grading period and it includes categories if they've been set up. A spreadsheet report looks much like GradeQuick did. Spreadsheet with filters allows you to choose specific students and categories. An exception report allows you to select information using predefined comments. If you want to find all of the students' incomplete assignments or all of a class's incomplete assignments, A roster will simply give you a class list with empty boxes that you can fill in using paper and pencil. A multi-class progress report gives you access to a student's grades in each class. A multi-class with categories report breaks down grades according to set categories.